Without question, he is one of the most successful football players to ever come out of Prince George's County. At the Mappa, Steve was a first team Parade Magazine All-American and was a first team All-Metropolitan selection by the Washington Post. He was an outstanding performer at running back for two seasons. In a game versus O'Connell as a junior, Steve rushed for over 200 yards as DeMatha kept running the same play. He could not be stopped. As a senior, he almost single-handedly led DeMatha to victory in a key game against McNamara. Steve reached a football, sorry, Steve received a football scholarship to Penn State. He was a three-year starter for the Nittany Lions and captained the 1986 team his senior year that beat Miami to win the national championship. Steve was later selected in the third round of the NFL draft by the Raiders and wound up playing seven years in that organization, starting at fullback for the majority of the time. He finished his career in Seattle where he started for two more years before retiring. Steve now resides in Plano, Texas with his wife, Chia, Chicha, Chia, son, Dante, sorry about that, dear lady, and daughter, Jasmine. He was diagnosed with ALS, Lou's Garrett's disease, in July 2002, and is presently taking treatment for that disease and other ailments as well. We at the MAPA know he will battle his ailments with the same rugged determination that made him one of the MAPA's greatest football players. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1982, Mr. Stephen Smith. to uh, first of all thank my Lord Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me to be here and I want to also thank him for blessing me with two wonderful parents Morris and Norman Smith who have always stood beside me through thick and thin good, bad, whatever my biggest supporters when I was young and when I was old. <laughs> I appreciate it. Also, I want to thank all my friends, my relatives, and uh, everybody here to support me tonight. I appreciate it. I love you all very much. And you all had a big part in raising me. Yeah, you did, and I appreciate it. But I also want to thank God for the Math Catholic High School. It's a great place. The math uh, means a lot to me. It's hard to believe that uh, you could be at a crossroads in your life at 14 years old. But that's where I found myself. And I had a choice to make at that time. And I wanted to be something. I wanted to be something special. So I chose the matter. Because in the Washington, D.C. area, it doesn't matter if you love them or you hate them, you know that the matter stands for excellence. And that's what I wanted to be. <laughs> now, I came to Dematha in uh, between the ninth and tenth grade, and it was in summer school. 
and I ended up being on a waiting list. But I knew that God had guided me here for a reason. It wasn't a sure thing of me even getting into the school. But I really loved playing basketball, and every day after uh, classes, I would play basketball. And it was a teacher that was here at that time named Sylvester Conyers. And he was a very good teacher, a very good man. He would play every day with me. And one day, I had a particularly good day in the gym, and he went in right after we finished playing and had a talk with uh, Mr. Moreland. And it was that day I realized how wise Mr. Moreland was. <laughs> <laughs> so I am eternally grateful to him for allowing me to become part of this family. Thank you. <laughs> to the math then. My dream was to be a basketball player. So I played football and basketball, but everything I did was to become a, the best basketball player I could be. And at that time, I didn't realize it, but I was learning a life lesson by trying to be the best. So. In my 11th grade year, um, I found out that when you're playing the best, it's not really a place for a six-foot power forward. <laughs> <laughs> and the best basketball team in the Washington, D.C. area. So it was growing pains for me. But the good part of it was that I had put everything into being the best basketball player I could be, and what that did was it made me a very good football player. <laughs> so the point of this little story is if you reach for the stars, if you follow your dream, you may not always get there, but it will always branch off into something bigger and better than you ever could imagine. And that's what it did for me. And I didn't realize it at the time, but Jerry Franks and Bill McGregor and Buck Offit, they were very instrumental in my time here at the map. And I thank them very much. I love you all. <laughs> and the lesson that I learned here at the Mountain has carried me through the, all of my life. I went to Penn State, I was blessed to have a scholarship, and I wanted to play tailback. Turned out, I was a better fullback than a tailback, so <laughs> everything I did to become a great tailback made me a fullback. <laughs> but once again, I ended up being on some very great teams, and got a great education, and I was ready to work, but by being all I could be, putting everything into it, the lesson that I learned here at the map have prepared me for life. And every time that I come to a crossroad in my life, all I do is put my faith in God like I did that time and do all I can to be the best that I can be. And he never failed me and he never will. So, right now, I'm at another crossroad, and once again, I'm taking that path of excellence, and trusting God, and thanking Him for 
bringing me a wonderful wife and a wonderful family. My wife, Chie. She's great. She's just. She has stood by me and supported me um, through good times and bad times. I know right now this is a little bit more than what she signed up for, <laughs> but she is a trooper and she's my right hand and my left hand and she's the glue that holds me together and I love her very much. So once again, I want to thank the DeMatha family. I know I, I mentioned only the uh, athletic coaches, but Father Bill, I love him. He's a big part of it. Joe Carroll, he's a very big part of it. Uh, Father Helm, I don't know where he is, but he's a very instrumental part in my mental development. I don't know if that's good or bad, but <laughs> he had a big hand in it. But um, thank you all once again for this very distinguished honor. And it means so much to me because the math means so much to me. Thank you.